beautiful morn, my child. It looks like dawn is here at long last. Can't you just leave me alone? Your precious queen has been sent back to the bottomless pit from whence she came. The nightmare is almost over. I am here to say goodbye. The sun's warmth exhausts me. Soon I will rejoin my queen in her endless sleep. It is over. You did well. So our beloved mother will just go back to sleep now that enough people have suffered. Is that it? No, Jonathan. The Morrigan has been appeased because you dared confront her. You have prevailed, my bittersweet champion. And what are you to her? Her counterpart? Her opponent in some timeless game? She is my mother. My dreadful and sour-tempered mother. She is yours too, in a way, but you are not born from her terrible womb like me. You are but a distant child. What does she seek? Revenge? Retribution? She seeks nothing, since she only dreams of it. In the ancient tongue, when I was young, her name meant Ghostly Queen. Pray she never fully awakens, for her wrath knows no bounds. Why did Harriet Jones become a disaster? You are the doctor. You hold the knowledge needed to answer such a question. Have you the answer? i seem to carry various diseases. They did not merely turn people into skulls. Their presence alone spreads death. Who knows whether the Red Queen awakens when cursed mortals endure such epidemics, or if the contagions emerge like a curse as she awakes. I noticed that all the i were female as if a male couldn't endure the metamorphosis. Harriet was also a bitter and resentful woman, as was her daughter. If the Morrigan prefers despoiled women to become the vessels of her wrath, we should be thankful that but one disaster hath been cast upon this wobbling world. This is not over. I am here to find the true origin of the blood of hate. Tis unwise to interfere with a tale rooted so deeply in the suffering of others. What will happen to Ascalon? Will you let them run the country from the shadows? I don't interfere with petty political intrigues. Ascalon was built upon the lie of a lineage. Such a deceit cannot last for but Lord Redgrave definitely possessed Marshall's blood. Untainted blood from the greatest vampire knight. Really? I wonder how he managed to acquire it. Perhaps I should retrieve this artifact before going back to sleep. What will become of the Brotherhood? I foresee trouble for them now that your progeny considers becoming the new primate. But I'm certain the current primate has no wish to resign. Exactly. And I am not fully convinced your progeny truly understands what dreadful power he is about to defy. What will become of the vampire hunters? In their leader, you now have a spy behind enemy lines. By guiding your progeny, you may yet protect your immortal friends for some time to come. If you dare. No. I must know why Elizabeth fled here when I discovered she was the original healthy carrier. No, she is not what you say she is. That is a secret you will discover soon enough. And you? 
Why are you here? Which new thread of which old twisted plan are you seeking to pull now? Tell me the truth. I am just here to salute my sons and to bid them fare thee well. Your sons? Plural. My god, will you ever stop speaking in riddles? Perhaps I am too old for your spoken language. Perhaps you now have so many subtle words you no longer hear the simplest ones. Tell me about William Marshall. Why is his blood so strong? He is not stronger than you, only older. You are strong, Jonathan Reed. A champion of your time, chosen to defeat a threat spawned of this generation. His blood was not tainted. The blood Lord Redgrave possessed, that which I used in the serum. But what if it had been? Then you would have failed, I suppose. For the blood of hate would have corrupted you too. Is he here? Is William Marshall here? Is that why you're here now too? Have I not already answered that question? When he fought me, Geoffrey McCullum used a serum made of King Arthur's blood. Since then, I have discovered that it was vampire blood. Whose blood was it? You just said it. It was the blood of a king. The blood of the champion I chose to save this land in its time of greatest peril. King Arthur was also your progeny. Why am I not surprised? Yes, he was. But he failed in the end. And for centuries the land suffered his defeat. Who are your sons? Why do you bid them farewell now? You are my son, as is William Marshall. This is madness. How many have you created? Who else? Shakespeare? Isaac Newton? Alfred the Great? Francis Drake? Thomas More? Guy Fawkes? My progeny is scarce, for I rarely feel the urge to protect this land anymore. But yes, one of those you named is your immortal brother. Maybe you should meet one night. So that is all we are to you. Puppets you create to defeat some threat born from a dreaming devil. No. You are my sons. I am proud of you. I mourn when you fail. Speak clearly, then, and answer my last question. What is it? Did I defeat the epidemic? Now you've found the castle, Jonathan Reed. Only you can answer that. Farewell, my child. I shall dream about you soon.